Violet. Didn't let me down, Silverine. I had my doubts with Violet at first, but now I see why she's of an audience favourite. Don't mess it up. Wouldn't dream it. I found Violet in the same place I met her. She was taking out a fresh batch of cookies from the oven. Morning, Violet. I slid next to her and grabbed one of the cookies in one smooth motion. Ow, hop. I flung the cookie into my mouth anyway. Worth the pain. Damn, that was delicious. Wait a moment, you silly goose. You never failed to make me laugh, Silverine. I quite admire that. I did a mocking bow of my arms behind my back and put on my best fancy accent. Oh, the pleasure is all mine, milady. Stop you. I wolfed down another cookie. Hell yeah! You do know those are for sharing of everyone, right? I'm part of everyone? What's the problem here? We laughed together at that bit that we were performing. Ah, that reminds me, Silver Rain. What's up, Violet? It's come to my attention that the show will be ending quite soon. Yeah, it is. Oh, do cheer up, please. I don't tend to feel... Sorry, I don't intend to feel sorry for myself. Instead, I want to use the time we have left here to do something I've always longed to do. And what's that? What I want is to go on a date. The kind of... that normal people go on. The kind I've only read about. Having a picnic, watching a movie at the theatre, long walks on the beach. Even something crazy like a paint night. And then we watch the sunset go down together. It'd be so romantic. Enthusiasm was adorable. It's practically, she was practically bouncing off the room like a ping pong ball. I think that can make we can make that happen. Can we now? Which one? Why not all of them? She's got the most beautiful smile, Dan. Really? You've got to be kidding me. You can count on me, Violet. I'll make it happen. Yay! She did a little cheer and dance. Gosh, I can't stop smiling and looking at her. That said, I have no idea what to do. I guess this is going to be touch and go. It wouldn't be fair if you figured out everything. Let me uh, handle the picnic. She pulled out a uh, she pulled out a basket from behind her. Care to join me in the lovely outdoors? I wouldn't miss it for the world, Violet. We walked outside for a while and then settled on a lovely spot with a nice mix of shade and sunlight for our picnic. The way this, her, the way her silver caught the sunlight was enough to make you believe in angels. I think it's supposed to be the way her silver hair. It's missing a word there. She was so beautiful. Dig in, I've brought, brought plenty. Please don't hold yourself back. I've got to be the luckiest person alive. Save that talk for after you try this. I'm letting you have the first bite. Should I be worried? I smiled as she mock pouted. Just kidding. She laughed and smiled as she spoon fed me a delicious egg roll. Called it, I'm the luckiest person alive. But not just because the food's delicious, but because you're here next to me, Violet. You've made this week so special. I feel the same way, Silverone. And there is more where that came from. You're absolutely right. I've got something prepared for just the two of us next. You owe me one, Silver Rain. We enjoyed the delicious food and conversation over the rest of the afternoon. We walked back down to the mansion, hand in hand, smiling all the while. Next stop, the only movie theatre on the island. I didn't know we had a room like this in the mansion. I'm not surprised. Terra's pretty territorial about this room, from what I've heard, and seen, or seen and heard. <laughs> but right now, it's our own very private movie theater. Did a little jazz hands at the TV. Violet clapped as she just put up. If I just put up a performance of a lifetime, I made a dramatic bow and then took a look at what movies we had in store. Let's see. We have rom-coms, fancy medieval movies, war movies, a few superhero movies, and last but not least, a horror movie. I'll put on a rom-com. From what Violet was saying earlier, that would be definitely her favourite. I started the movie and then went back and sat next to Violet with my arm around her. The story was about a girl who moved to a place called New York to become a writer, falls in love with a boy she meets there, and eventually realises her dream and her love. It wasn't anything special, but Violet was fully entranced for the whole movie. For me, I was more entranced by her. 
After the credits rolled, Violet practically burst into tears. This was the best movie I've ever seen in my whole life. My whole life. Then how about we take a scene you liked from a movie and turn it into a painting? Oh my gosh, you didn't. Just wait right here for a second. Okay. I had no idea where to find art supplies, but if I knew if there was anyone who could, it was Cat. Cat, I think I know you. I think you know the stitch. Not the stitch. <laughs> You've got some nerve putting this together at the last minute, but I like that about you. Four, set up everything they need for paint tonight in the main hall of the mansion. Stat. Oh man, I just finished my shift. Even better, you've got free time for this. So we started painting on the canvases in the main hall. I think I'll take paint a picture of... Violet and I watching a movie together. What are you painting, Silver? I'm painting a picture of us watching the movie together. It's the most beautiful scene from the movie, you know. I, I thought it'd be a shame not to capture it. Oh, that's a cheesy line. You're quite the flirt, you know that? But I like that about you. Her smile could melt the coldest heart. So which scene are you painting, Violet? I'm drawing the scene where the girl runs out in the rain to tell the boy that she loves... Tell the boy that she loves her? <laughs> she loves him. It was just so romantic. She sighed like a love-struck teenager. I could tell she was putting her whole heart into her painting. It captured the scene perfectly. As for me, let's just say I was more focused on making the people have the right number of heads and working from there. An hour or so later, we finished and compared our final artworks. She's an incredibly talented artist, me, not so much. That was embarrassing, but man, it was worth to see her smile break into laughter. Her laughter was interrupted by a gurgle from her stomach. Mama would punish me for sure if she heard me make that sound, but who cares now? Violet was unstoppable at this point. Is it time for dinner? I do believe it is. I volunteered to cook, but she wanted to go back to the restaurant that we went to on our first date, so we did. Apparently she she was trying too hard to be prim and proper back then and didn't actually get to eat as much as she wanted. She ate up a storm, almost literally, almost. We spent dinner wolfing down delicious food without a care in the world and laughing about scenes in the movie on our little artsy adventure. Then finally we went back to a long-awaited walk on the beach. We'd held hands as we walked along the ocean. The waves of the ocean seemed to play music for us as we skirted by. At times, we talked without the end. At other times, we enjoyed each of his company and warmth and silence. Either way, we were as happy as could be. We talked about how the past, the present, and the future were so different from than before because of each other. You know, Silver Rain, if you asked me to marry you right now, without a doubt, I'd accept. I know it sounds quite crazy to say that in such a short period of time, but I just know. She kissed me passionately with everything she had. What came next was the perfect ending to our lovely date. Come closer. Oh! Did he go further than just a kiss, I wonder? And just like that was my last date with Violet. Time sure goes by quickly. Uh, I thought I'd find you here. Why is that, cat? You tend to come out here when you're lost and fought, is all. You're thinking about how the show is almost over, am I right? How'd you know? Lucky guess. Well, it's not over yet, so don't let up just yet. Speaking of which, how was your date with Violet today? Awesome! Being with Violet makes me feel like I'm on top of the world. Somehow she takes my breath away with how cool she can be, and at the same time she makes me laugh like a child alongside her. I had no idea I'd fall up for her so hard after our first meeting, but I couldn't help myself. And now what I want most is to make her the happiest, uh, happiest woman in the world. Now that's what I like to hear. I had my doubts at first, but you two really stole the show. And with good reason, I feel like our viewers got to see a glimpse of what your likes, uh, lives will be together would be like. Maybe the mess in the kitchen won't be from dough next time, hmm? No comment. Anyway, I'd ask if you were thinking of choosing her at the end, but I'd rather see how it, wait and see how it plays out. You're going to stay out here for l long? No, I'll probably be going back inside soon. I'll keep you company till then. 
I figure you might want to have a conversation with someone that won't get you killed if it's not TV worthy. Thanks, Cat. Don't mention it. You know I'm curious, Cat. What's up? Let's say I knew I was screwed. That there was no way of me uh, getting out of here alive. That the only way left for me to survive was to just to run. Would you let me escape? Of course, Silver Rain. Now, come on, that is a weighted and loaded question. There is no way in hell she would say no to that question. Bad, bad choice there, mate. Thanks, Cat. That means a lot. It's no big deal. We stayed out here for a little longer before we called it a night. I'm lucky I have someone I can trust on my side. No, you cannot trust her. Waking up next to Violet felt like waking up next to an angel. We'd walked back from the beach past midnight uh, last night, so any rest we could get were very welcome. For several minutes, all I could do is watch her silver hair catch the sunlight. She was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. Morning, Silver, right? Morning to you too, Violet. Do you mind if we just perhaps stay here for a spell? Not one bit. Fantastic. She rolled herself towards me and hugged me with all her strength. No take backs. We lay together in the bed all morning, enjoying each other's warmth and company. I don't want this moment to end. I simply cannot wait until we leave here together, Silver Road. We will be the greatest partnership for all time. An empire like no other. I do like an ambitious woman. Ah, it's time for you to spend some time with another girl now. Yeah, sorry about that, it's in the contract. It's no matter. To bicker about this will be fruitless, it's the very nature of the show. To entertain yourself with whoever your date will be. But no, anything she could offer would pale to what a queen could. Morning, Silver Rain. You'll be happy to know your third date with Violet yesterday was pretty well received. The highest rating we've had so far, but enough to give us more room to keep going. Yeah, sounds good enough to me. For your next date, make sure you pick someone who you think the audience will respond to well too. Though at this point, I think you're in a pretty good spot either way. Without further ado, which soulmate candidate is it going to be? Now, I know Scarlet isn't who is in our dreams. I still suspect that's Cat. I still suspect Cat is the person we tried to run away with and we got caught and screwed and now we're in a damn machine which she's having to run otherwise we all get killed. But, I'm going to go with Scarlet because we know it's not her to start with. So I'm more, I've been wondering if we can find out a bit more information about her. Mm. Uh, can't say I'm surprised there. You're two birds of a feather. Here's to hoping you'll both have a day you'll remember for a change. It's funny when you're not amnesic. And with that, I'll continue this date next time.